corrupted windows this is a readme laptop model is xma 2101-bn and the problem is blue screen blue screen so let's do a test So power is here. It's turning on. And blue screen of death. Okay. Stop code. Preparing automatic repair. Okay, let's just wait for it. Diagnosing your PC. Your PC did not start correctly, restart your PC, which sometimes fix the problem. You can also advance option to try other options. So advanced options. Uh, troubleshoot. Uh, use device and network recovery. Yeah, let's use. Exit and continue to Windows 11. Ah, so they updated it to Windows 11. Same problem. I have a USB with Windows 10. So we can try it. Go click add option, uh, advanced option. Use a USB. I guess it's use USB. USB device. Let's see. System does not have any USB option, please. Okay. Boot. USB boot enable boot. Hmm. Well, we can try is troubleshoot C advanced options. Let you choose region. Okay, what other options we have here? Start up repair. Uh, re system restore. Let's do system restore. Yes. Keep this drive. Try your Microsoft account. Skip this. Try change your keyboard layout. So system recovery from make uh, have fixed problem that might be make a computer is run slowly. Your store does not affect any of the okay. Our store points have been created, so there's no restore point for this laptop. Now, what other options we have? Reset this. Uh, let's just remove app settings, but keeps the personal. Yeah, let's go ahead and keep my files there's no important files on this laptop according to the owner so we can keep the files but remove all the apps and restore all the settings let's do that there was a problem resetting no changes were made okay so we cannot reset as well so we need to reinstall windows instead Okay, so what should we press? F12? Boot options. Boot manager.
Mm, no USB. Let me try this other port. So here, uh, I cannot figure out why this laptop won't boot on the USB. It doesn't show the USB on the boot option. So what I'm going to do is remove the hard drive and see if uh, we can install Windows. Um, we'll attach the hard drive on another computer and install windows let's see if we can do that if not then there's nothing we can do about it all right so where's the hard drive so hard drive is in here so it's the m.2 We don't have a connector for this one. The upgrade option is okay. So, right here. I'm just gonna show it to you guys. This is now the M.2. So I'm going to clear everything. Let's see if we can clear it. This one, delete, delete, and I don't need that. I'm gonna new. It's 244 gigs. So I'm going to click apply. And then next to install Windows. And then after that, I'm going to insert this M.2 again back to the laptop and see if that will continue. We'll see. that's all right so that's done so we just have to shut down the pc and move the m.2 ssd to the laptop so that's just all right and i'm gonna unplug everything here make sure we don't have power when unplugging the m.2 so we'll be right back on Let's just check the media. Just plug this thing in. So, boot priority, and it's not detecting the hard drive.
So I installed Windows on the M.2 SSD. It's right there. I'm gonna shut it down and move the SSD to the laptop. F1. Hmm. Main. It detects the hard drive, but it's not reading it. R month. So guys, just an update. Um, I was in, I have installed Windows on the M.2 SSD for this laptop. However, when I plug in the M.2 SSD on this laptop, it won't detect the drive. Um, I installed Windows 10. So. I did some research and I found out that uh, this laptop needs EFI partition something like that so that it can read the hard drive or it can read the windows or it can boot windows and uh, for some reason uh, I deleted it when I was trying to install um, Windows 10 so now uh, I've tried formatting uh, I formatted it uh, using GPT and MBR partition and both didn't work so right now uh, so today I, I was doing um, a research and I found this article here online I'm gonna put it on the description so what I did is I just created um, a Windows 11 uh, bootable USB drive so I just follow this instruction here and now it's reading the USB so let me show it to you all right so this is now Windows 11 install there and then let's go ahead and plug it in on the laptop all right then let's plug in the power So power on. Alright, it's reading the USB. So now let's continue. It's not working. I mean the touchpad is not working. Let's go ahead and continue. So we'll use keyboard instead and I'm going to install. Then I'm gonna accept and then I click next. I'm gonna custom install. So Windows can install drive zero partition one, so we'll use what? Windows can't be installed on drives. So shall we delete it? Or format that's 500 MB so let's format the drive or the partition to the format 
okay windows can't be installed so what about delete and then delete this one so we'll just create a new partition and then just click apply yes and then we'll install see this is the EFI and then it, this is the MSR so that's what we need so we'll install windows on partition 3 let's go